All right, uh, today I'm going to try and show you quickly how to match audio and video when they are separate sources. If you have any audio on your video that is uh, to listen to, um, sometimes you can do it just based off of seeing, but you know, that's a little different. So uh, let's start with the video. Uh, assuming you have time code, um, you will highlight them all, right click on them, and then say auto sequence. This is uh, one option. I'm gonna show you two options here on how to do this. So here you have your auto sequence of um, Daniel's interviews. They look nice and pretty. Uh, I'm just gonna label this Daniel interview, and I'm just gonna move it over just for sake of this into my interviews bin. Okay, so Daniel interview. Now here's my audio. And as you can see, I've already labeled it under shot and scene. So interview, Daniel, and I will just highlight those right click on them as well and say auto sequence. Now this is if you have time code. Um, what I should have done honestly during filming is just done one long audio uh, file because then uh, it would just fit nice and neat uh, under this and I could just match up the beginning. But instead I have three uh, which is not ideal. So I'll right click say um, auto sequence and let that go ahead and auto sequence out so here you have your audio uh, and then what I'll do is kinda highlight the in and out and I'll copy it to my clipboard which is command option C copy to clipboard um, I wonder if there's a quick button for it I'm sure there is somewhere up here uh, what does it look like I don't I, I think it's a little copy thing Ah, copy to clipboard. Okay, so if you were just going to push a button, you do that. Uh, uh, I don't think it did it. No, I don't think it did. So I'm not copying it to clipboard. I'm copying it up there, which is command option C. So yeah. So anyways, now it's up here. and um, Or you could just copy and paste, probably. But I will then go back to my Daniel interview. And right now... The audio one is going to link up to that. So if I were to insert it right away, it would cover all this audio like that and kind of delete the whole thing. So I'm going to undo that. So I don't really want to do that. So I'm just going to actually put it here at the end uh, like this. And then I'm going to delete these tracks. And then I'm just going to bring it down like this. Turn on both these audios. I'll come over here. I'll solo this one really quick just to say he's saying, All right, um, do I just, is what he's saying there. And then B to slice that. Um, Command X to delete that file. So right here he says, All right, um, do I just continue talking? Let's see. And then I'll find that up here. So let's try and find that. He says. He says, hi here. Hi, my name is. So maybe let's make that a good point. Hi, my name is. Let's solo this one. Hi, right there. Well, hello. I'm just going to come over here, blade that, and then I will select them all, hold down the option key, and drag to the right, and you can select that track, and then hold the option key, and it'll lock it there, and see how that looks. It's pretty close. Okay, so that looks decent. Um, and then to fine tune it, you're going to want to do uh, your uh, move one frame forward and one uh, frame back. And that uh, hopefully you will have set up in your keyboard. So for me, it's comma and period. So if I push comma one way or the other way, it moves this forward, whatever I have selected, forward and back one frame. 
So. And my name is Daniel Delgado. I'm a junior from San Diego. That looks pretty good. But what you'll notice is these time codes are a little bit different. So as you go from clip to clip, you're going to have to move it just a little bit. So. Classes. But at the end of every year, so from October through December, they have a set. So I'm going to go forward. Week long street sports tournament of street soccer. Okay, actually, the other direction. As you can see, you're hearing the audio before you're seeing his voice. It's impressive thing that. So I'll go back a little bit more. It's impressive thing that I've. Been I've enjoyed about the IR program here is the diversity. Oh, actually, the other way. Um, of the people in that degree. So, for example, I, I am his, Hispanic, but there's there you go. Okay, so you can just fine tune these, but they're all pretty close, close enough that you can just um, go through and. Was like again, like I said earlier, I love. Okay, so that's early so I just kind of push back and you can see there's a mark in here and if you need to see this top track because it's very low audio on this one so if you need to see that better you can uh, select the track and push Apple L and that'll kind of uh, make everything a little bit bigger there and then you can actually click this and just kind of move it to what you think looks like um, I'm hoping to there you go just like that similar idea with these so, so this is all one long clip. So at this point, you might be better off moving the actual individual video clips on this, right? So, um, or if you just cut the audio, that'd be fine too. So if you blade it there and then. Um, so we have to have um, a large. Oh, no, that looks good. Okay. Faster out there is way Yeah, no, it all looks good. Okay, so that's one way uh, to sync audio with video. It's a little tedious, a little time consuming, but it's not so bad. As you can see, it's all here in the sequence and it's all synced up. So, um, you know, after that's done, you could even, you know, just delete your audio tracks if you wanted to and just move those up. And now you have, you know, your audio with your video. Okay. So that's one route. Now, the other route, um, I always prefer actually uh, recording audio inside camera um, as well, uh, just because I prefer to double click on my clip and make marks throughout uh, as notes to what's been said, but that's not what this tutorial is today. Okay, second way to audio sync, which is kind of nice, but also a little trickier. Uh, what you'll do is take your clips and you can drag them over to the other bin where your um, video is and then highlight from here to here say right click and then auto sync now if if you if all of your time code matches up um, if you're you know very proactive and during the shoot you you know synced all your time code you could just do source time code and then it should you know sync up nicely um, but we can't do that. So I'm going to do waveform analysis. And so this will analyze all the waveform in the files. Um, and then I will select create group clip instead of sub clip. I don't think that this really matters either when creating some, um, for this, but create group clip instead of sub clip. And I will show you in a second why. Now this is, whoop, this is going to take a while. Um, and because I'm lazy with these tutorials, uh, I don't bring them in anywhere and edit them or cut them. I'm just, it really all boils down to laziness. But yeah, it's been pretty chilly out lately. I'm in Denver, if anybody cares about that. Um, man, so many things to talk about. I just can't think of anything while this repairs it's kind of annoying honestly I also wish it just laid them out in the sequence but you'll see what I'm talking about hmm. I wonder if there's anything else I can talk about um, in this about audio and... no honestly I just suggest you you know skip forward to where you don't see that preparing sign anymore I think though that this is uh, does a really good job of what it's really like to be an editor. You know, when I don't cut things out, 
you know, it takes a long time, and you wait, and you wait, and you wait, and then while it's doing this, you get on the internet, and you get on Craigslist, and you look up buying stuff, and you're like, I want some appliances, or you make a website, or you... I'm getting a phone call from New Jersey right now. Well, might as well take it while this waits. This is Andy. Is open mm. Junk call, guys. Junk call. And if you're still listening at this point, I'm I'm really sorry. It's life. Well, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, making websites and and uh, and looking for. Um, Refrigerators on Craigslist. I found some that I think I like. Um, I really like the Hot Point fridge from these people. Looks nice. A little ding. I don't know. I like them because they're a little bit smaller. And we're going to put it in our garage and I don't want it taking up too much space. So it's very appealing. Mm, I really like this one, but the guy never got back to me. And he doesn't have any photos of the front. So that's also... Not a good idea. Honestly, uh, I should just be cutting this out, but uh, maybe one day when I get really popular and I have thousands and thousands of views. But until that point, I'm just going to not and let all the Netherlands people watch this and talk about how smart I am. Well, anyways, we're close. I knew this was going to take a while. Um, just because it makes analyzing all the waveform and all the audio, and so it makes sense. But it's also it's a bit frustrating. You know, it's got a lot of video clips to analyze. Some big news I learned the other day. I'm not gonna share. I saw it. Just it was just big. Just know that. Oh, I think we're close. Well, is it? It says an estimated time of a minute 14. I wonder if it really was, because this feels like a lot longer than a minute and 14 seconds. What do you say the worst thing is about being an editor? I'd probably say, yeah, I'd probably say that. Okay, now, this is going to be something that isn't always my favorite way to do because I often like to see those clips uh, nice and out like that, right? But this is going to group um, what you just pieced together. So if you double click on that, it's going to bring it up into your monitor. And what you'll notice is you'll see the video at first and you probably only hear the audio on camera, right? And then as you scroll through, you're going to lose all the video. Now, the reason is this is a grouped clip, so it's m more or less like a multi-cam uh, clip. And so what you'll need to do is click on this guy down here, split it up. So I'll do nine splits because we have more than four uh, video clips. So I'm going to do nine, whoop, nine split. Okay, now as you uh, scroll, scroll through here with nine splits, well, you know what? I think that I have to wait till it's in the sequence. So I'm going to just put it up here and then drop it in the sequence. Okay, so you'll see it's grouped, right? And then I have both these waveforms on, and you'll see that really waveform only shows here and then, of course, you know, down here. And I can, I, I'm going to delete that one. But over here, right? Well, there's a reason for all of this, and it's because it's a group clip. So I'm going to go to this nine split. And then I am going to scroll around, and you'll see video up here. And then as it gets over here, it'll switch up left. Uh, I'm pointing like you can see. Okay, so right here, it switches. And that's because it's grouped. So if I click on this, and I go to where we're at with this clip, maybe I just make a split. I can then select that up here, and it'll be down here. Similarly, this is selected. And then, let's see. Right here, I will select that one. Oh, I don't even have to make a split, so it'll do it for me. And then, 
this one and then this one and then this here all right very nice so sounds good that's matched that's matched matched all right so with matched now you'll see the audio waveform down here stops right here okay and what you'll have to do on that is basically split it and then or I'll, I'll do it a different way this time just so everyone can see is I will create three total audio tracks just drag this down as a duplicate oops six frames off then drag it down again as a duplicate two frames off okay and then you'll see the waveform still over here but if you right click on it you can select your waveform so now it's in the middle and then this one I will select uh, three so if I turn that on and here you have it all the different waveform I can just drag that up if I want and drag whoops and drag this up as well okay basically what grouping clips does is it just brings all those clips together and it makes them into a group uh, so like a multi-cam edit so if you if you have this selected um, it's going to show up there right for or off um, and at this point yeah it goes through fine so then you can start going through and um, you know make a marks and stuff so then I came here and then I ended up so two different ways to do it um, each way is a little time consuming honestly uh, if you're out and you're producing uh, be smarter than us I would probably either let the audio just keep rolling or uh, sync the time code but this is in case you didn't do that yeah the other way of course is uh, I don't know what other ways are those are the two those are the two I know you could get pluralized and just go to Adobe which would save some time I hope it was helpful I'm sorry you had to endure endure this terrible tutorial I know I know they're bad just go ahead and just just put a thumbs down please just thumbs down on this but subscribe but definitely put a thumb down